Hey, what's up? So I'm going to show you this package, it's called Redux Toolkit. Uh, it's really awesome. I have been using it uh, for a while now, and uh, I really liked it. Uh, it simplifies dealing with Redux and states. Uh, it simplifies map state, map state to props and map dispatch to props and all of that. And it's also simplifying selecting data from the store and uh, reducing duplicate code. So I really like that and it comes integrated with a lot of stuff. One of them is the Redux Dev Tool. So by default when you use this, uh, the Dev Tool will be uh, there by default. And another cool thing that they do, each state you define using this tool, Redux State or the store, uh, is an object from Emer. So by default it will be immutable and at the same time you can def change it in the same way you def you change any object in JavaScript. So this is this comes with it by default. So really cool. And to start with it, you have two options. The first one is using create React app. So you will start with a new React application. Uh, so that's the name. Then add it, add the template flag. Just type Redux. Hit enter and wait for that to happen. I already did that, so I will go to React, Redux Toolkit, and as you can see, um, it's just a clean. And here it is open in my Visual Studio Code. So in this video, I will create a to-do list application using React, Redux Toolkit uh, with React, of course. But something uh, to note, if you are watching this, you should know about Redux. I have a, a series on my YouTube channel uh, about Redux and React. And another thing, uh, probably in your case, you are, or at least I think anyone who will watch this video or this series will be uh, either one of these two. Uh, maybe someone who wants to learn about Redux Toolkit and use it in a new application. I think this will be very suitable to you. So you will just use Create React app and put the template Redux and continue. And if you, but if you want to convert or add this feature to your already existing React application, to get started, you will click this button on the home page and just go and, and, and type this or install this package into your project, and that's it. So npm install at Redux.js toolkit. And that will be it in your case. The next step, you need to use this function uh, to hook up um, React toolkit or Redux sorry Redux toolkit so yeah this actually this command already will do this for me but if you are adding this to already existing package or already existing existing application just install it and we will work together from that so since I already did that generated the application with the Redux template which will use if you go to the package.json it will use uh, the toolkit as you can see so, the only thing you need to do, as you can see from the scripts, npm run start, this will run host application on localhost uh, 3000. So, as you can see, this is the default template they generate. So, let's inspect and go to Redux. So, as you can see, they already integrated the Redux dev tool with it. And this is our last state. It's only have a counter with the value of zero. So if you click one or click this button, it will dispatch this action, and which is the increment. This will decrement. This will add an amount, as you can see, by two, maybe by 20. This will add sync or add async. This will use our thanks to go and do some side effect, maybe HTTP request or something like that. Then it will dispatch that uh, or sp dispatch a specific event which is the same one you will dispatch a specific action to be specific so yeah I mean in the next video I will show you that this code that they generated for us uh, it's really simple and really simplifies stuff so yeah that's it and I hope this was useful